Bucket Band, and uh, I think this is the first time we've ever played in, a, in, a, in an environment where the reverberation time is probably about eight seconds, uh, so you got to hear it uh, at uh, seven, more than twice, I probably, anyway. Um, you'll hear more from Orchids later on. Uh, my name is Paul Meacham, President and CEO of the Baltimore Symphony. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all here and to thank uh, the Mayor and her staff for inviting us to uh, this occasion today. Uh, there will be uh, an important announcement to be made a little later on and then you're going to hear uh, more music uh, and uh, uh, the Orchids will be joined by a special guest uh, in, the, in the form of our music director Marin Alsop, so that should be fun. But before that... Uh, <laughs> I'd just like, uh, before um, handing over to, to Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, who's going to say a few words, I just want to recognize a few people that are here. First, starting, of course, with the Mayor. Thank you very much for being here. And Marin Alsop, our music director. Um, there are several uh, elected representatives I want to, to recognize here. Um, I don't know if he's here. Jack Young, are you here? President, City Council President Jack Young. Thank you for being here. Councilwoman uh, Ricky Spector and Mary Pat Clark. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Pat, Councilman uh, P. Welsh, uh, Brandon Scott, and is Bill Cole here as well? Yeah, Bill, thank you for being here. Uh, Carl Stokes is here too. Oh, Carl Stokes, Councilman Stokes, thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, from the uh, President's Commission for Arts and Humanities, I'd like to welcome here Tracy Slater Rico. Thank you for being here. Uh, and there's a number of BSO board members here. I'm very grateful uh, for you being here. I'd like to recognize Ken DeFontis, who's the BSO board chair. Uh, and uh, Jim Smith, who, in addition to being a, a board member in his spare time, is also Transportation Secretary for the State of Maryland. So. Uh, and I apologize if I've forgotten anybody else. Um, I'm, I thank you for all being here. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Mayor Stephanie Rollings Blake. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you. And Paul, thank you for doing all of the introductions. So I can skip that. I can just say it's a pleasure when I do get to uh, open City Hall to our so, uh, so talented students uh, to have so many elected officials uh, with us as well. So I want to thank the ones that you've mentioned. I also want to uh, thank in particular uh, Governor O'Malley for sending several members of his team uh, to be with us uh, today. So I want to welcome the kids to City Hall. Aren't they amazing? Yay! Can we give them another hand? I think I can speak for uh, the council members who were on the city council uh, back in 2008 and say that ORCHIDS uh, has been impressing us since 2008. The program puts instruments in the hands of young people at a very young age with the goal of creating systemic social change for at-risk youth in Baltimore City. 
These students are practicing and playing and learning about music four hours a day, six days a week for more than 30 weeks throughout the year. And you can tell, it shows uh, in their performance. And I, it's just one of the things as a Baltimorean makes, just gives me goosebumps to think about the talent that we have and the fact that we are witnessing the future musical talent of the world, really, with the students that we are training here today. So yeah, I really wanted to thank the, the leadership of uh, the BSO. And, and I know that uh, Paul mentioned that your chair is here, Ken DeFontis. And anytime I can see you outside of the snow emergency room, Ken, it's a good day. <laughs> So thank you uh, for your leadership. So these, this program started out with just 30 students in West Baltimore five years ago and now serves over 700 in East and West Baltimore. The fact that this program continues to grow makes me very proud. And you could, it, it makes me proud when you think about the kids who could hardly lift their instruments as first graders five years ago are now playing some great musical classics as a part of their repertoire. And today you will hear these young musicians playing their instruments. Uh, but know that this program gives so much more than an opportunity to perform. And I want to thank, I see Councilman Nick Mosby, who is here with us as well, so thank you for being here. And I mentioned the program gives so much more. It gives self-confidence. And I don't see, they kind of fooled you a little bit with the sit-down performance. If you've ever seen them perform on stage, you get to see all their self-confidence in full bloom, so hopefully we'll get to see a little bit of that later on. Uh, but if you don't see it, that gives you a reason to, to come out and see another one of their performances because they just exude self-confidence. Uh, the, the program also gives them creative problem-solving skills, teamwork, and maybe the most powerful lesson of all, they learn what happens when they pursue and achieve excellence uh, by daring to test their abilities. ORCHIDS is a good example of a thriving partnership between an arts organization and Baltimore City Schools. And it's the largest single, single provider of after-school programming and arts education for Baltimore City School students, having a great impact in the classroom as well as after school. 84% of the veteran ORCHID students score proficient or advanced on their MAP MSAs compared to 76% worldwide, I mean worldwide, citywide. Attendance is up 24% as of last year for the ORCHID's uh, participants with a 98% attendance rate. 28% of the ORCHID's have perfect attendance. I think that's worth the value of time. At Lockerman Bundy Elementary, chronic absenteeism has gone down over 50% since ORCHID launched there in 2009. So today we celebrate and acknowledge ORCHID's major achievements in 2013, most notably the National Arts and Humanities Youth Programs Award, which was awarded to ORCHID's this past November. ORCHID's was recognized for its effectiveness in developing learning and life skills in young people by fostering art and arts education in their communities. This uh, prize, this award was given by the President's Committee on Arts and Humanities, and it's only awarded to 12 programs, only 12 programs, and that's not 12 in Baltimore City, or 12 in Maryland, or 12 on the East Coast. It is 12 nationwide each year, so I think that that is a tremendous accomplishment. And I'd like to acknowledge Tracy slater Rigo for uh, who is here with us from the National Arts and Humanities Youth Program. Thank you, where's Tracy? Thank you, thank you for being here with us today. Appreciate it. But I know you wouldn't miss an opportunity to hear them perform again either, would you? They're fantastic. The ORCHIDs were presented the award by the First Lady who was celebrating her 50th birthday today. In uh, late November, she uh, presented the ORCHIDs with the award with, at a, with, uh, during a ceremony at the White House, which is a big deal. Uh, it was a huge honor for the students, for the BSO, for the administrators who make this program possible each and every day. So a big congratulations from me. So I would like to present this certificate of uh, recognition. 
On behalf of the citizens of Baltimore, I'm pleased to present this certificate to ORCHID's uh, Planting Seeds for a Brighter uh, Future Baltimore, and to the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra in recognition of you being a recipient of the 2013 National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Award being awarded, awarded the nation's highest presidential honor for out of school arts and humanities programs that celebrates the creativity of America's young people and as a product of dedication and commitment to excellence. You are talented sons and daughters of Baltimore and I have signed and issued this certificate in your honor. to give one for my daughter as well who loves the symphony. We had a chance to come just a little while ago and it was thrilling. So I, I, before I go, I want to, and before the, the, uh, the young people perform again, I, I want to th uh, thank um, Marin also. And you know, there, a lot of times, you know, in, in Baltimore, the one thing that I appreciate so much is, especially over the last, um, you know, I would say the last 10 to 15 years, we have seen our prominence on the world stage when it comes to arts and culture continue to grow. And during that time, we've been blessed to have some people come in town, come out of town. You know, we've, we have attracted some really great talent. And um, when Marin also came to Baltimore, I remember specifically she said that she wanted to make the BSO accessible to more Baltimoreans and wanted to make the symphony a place that was open and welcoming uh, to uh, the people who live here. Yes, we want to attract people you know, from all over to come, but she wanted to make the BSO of Baltimore. And I can say uh, wholeheartedly that Every single day that you were there, you have kept your word, and every year you have increased the access to the uh, of uh, the Baltimore Symphony Arts to Baltimoreans, and particularly Baltimore's uh, children. So I am so proud of the work that you've done in your time uh, with the BSO. So I I continue to be thrilled to have you. And anytime someone brings your name up when I'm traveling and talking to other mayors, I said you can look all you want, just don't touch. <laughs> So your vision for ORCHID's is living proof of the power of music and its ability to transform the future. So I want to thank you very much. And with that, I want to introduce the ORCHID's chamber music group playing the minuet number two by um, John, Johann Sebastian Bach. Thank you very much. Amazing, amazing. It bring tears to my eyes, actually. Orchid started as a, as a germ of an idea when Marin came into the office one day 
and uh, I think you've just seen the, the, the 60 Minutes program on um, the El Sistema program in Venezuela, which had been going since the mid-70s. And Marin said, we got to do this here. And when Marin says something like that with the determination that she says it, you know she means it and that we have to find a way to make it happen. And I believed in it from day one. I think everyone did that um, just as we, we realized uh, we need to do more for this community, the timing of this, just as she, uh, as Marin became music director, couldn't have been more perfect. As the mayor said, we were looking to be more accessible. We were looking to uh, be more involved with the community. Uh, this be, uh, became the primary vehicle. Um, it took a year in planning, and in 2008, as you heard, we had a pilot year, um, 30 students. And, uh, you know, of course, money, unfortunately, is always, you know, how do you pay for these things? And Marin stepped up uh, and said, I, I will put in the seed funding of $100,000. It was part of the MacArthur Genius Award that she was, uh, which she won, um, and, uh, <laughs> and it was really as a result of, of Marin stepping up and, uh, and uh, saying, look, I'm going to lead from the front, um, that that inspired uh, the two people that are sitting here in the front, Robert Meyerhoff and Rita Becker, to say, look, if it means that much to Marin and we can see the potential of this program, we have to help. And uh, we had a plan to expand in that first year, a second year to uh, I think 180 students. Uh, and uh, over the course of the next four years, um, uh, through a very generous gift of a million dollars, um, uh, Bob and Rita helped support the growth uh, in, during these first five years of ORCHIDS to where we are today. <laughs> So I think, you know, you've heard about the, 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 the President's uh, Arts and Humanities Youth Program Award. Um, you probably saw, or hopefully you saw the Ravens play uh, the Steelers game uh, on Thanksgiving Day. Um, they just very recently uh, were the recipient of a, of a, um, a Gettier Grant uh, Award. Of, um, there's recognition happening now um, that this program truly deserved and has earned. And as we look to grow the program uh, from 750 students to um, 1,600 students over the next five years, from uh, four schools to eight schools, um, of course, uh, uh, it takes more leadership. And so I'm very happy to announce today that Robert Meyerhoff and Rita Becker have committed a second $1 million to support that growth. This is part of a larger campaign that we're uh, embarked upon now uh, to raise as much as $10 million over the next five years. So this is a very significant leap gift, but obviously we're looking to others in the community uh, to be inspired uh, by their gift and also by this wonderful program and these incredible musicians. Uh, so uh, I'd like to introduce uh, the founding director of ORCHIDS, Marin Alsop. And uh, I'd also want to thank the mayor, uh, which, uh, who's been a true and constant friend of ORCIDS right from the very beginning. It's been the, the support of the city uh, that in part has also made this happen because we've had a very close wor working relationship both with the city and the city public schools. And so I'd like to recognize the city and the city public schools. It's been a true partnership. Without further ado, Marin, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's wonderful to be here today, and uh, we seem to play only where it's cold, don't we? we the Ravens game was a little chilly for us. Um, but, uh, you know, I want to first, of course, acknowledge and, and thank uh, Bob and Rita for, you know, your financial support is critical and inspiring, but really your, I think your leadership in terms of what you can envision for the future of our Baltimore children, and that's even more important to me. Your 
friendship and your moral support and your guidance through all of this. So uh, I can't thank you enough, and I, I'm so proud to call you both my dear friends as well. And that, uh, uh, that's really inspiring to me. And uh, thank you, Mara, for all of your support. Uh, it really means so much to the kids and to me um, to be part of a community that cares. You know, Baltimore is the only place where I give a speech, and at the end, the first question is, how can we help? It's the only place on the planet that I've been, and that's why I love it here. So, I also want to uh, say, you know, it's very nice for me to receive the spotlight, but I don't do the day-to-day -day work. I want to thank all of the um, all of the teachers at ORCIDS, all of the parents at ORCIDS, and especially I want to thank Dan Trahey, my artistic director, and Nick Skinner. Where are you guys? Where's Nick? Also, you, you deserve a lot of a lot of great credit. Um, and I just wanted to talk about a couple of the kids uh, and, and bring it home a bit. And maybe, Dan, you can see, I think they're hiding behind as well. It, it, Joseph Wilkerson, where's Joseph? Are you Tiffany. behind there? Joseph, can you step out and maybe come out? So Joseph now, from his middle school, he takes a, a bus back, it takes about an hour for him to get back to Lockerman Bundy. Um, but he comes back uh, to teach um, and mentor Mentor, mentor the younger students. So I want you to give Joseph. And you and Jonah are going right to LA. Okay. And along with uh, Jonah Lassiter, who's, where's Jonah? Where are you? Jonah? Jonah's going, come on out and get some recognition too. And they're gonna, they've been selected to go to Los Angeles to perform with YOLA, which is the Youth Orchestra of Los Angeles. So they're, in February, they're going. Think about it. You can go back, thanks. And then um, I just, I also want to mention a few, listen, I want to mention every single kid here. They're, everyone is so special and, and has such a beautiful story. And when I, just as an aside, when I went to the school recently and I was meeting with the bass players and I said to the first bass player, well, what do you want to do? And he said, I, I'm thinking about being a veterinarian. And he said, oh, but I'm going to play music every night. And then, uh, <laughs> A young woman playing bass said to me, well, I said, how about you? She said, well, I noticed there are no women in the bass section of the BSO. I'm going to be the first one. I was like, you go, girl. Uh, but uh, let me just recognize also um, on tuba, we have a phenomenal tuba player, low rider. Come on, stand up. Where are you? There you are. And... Uh, are you, so you know what he's doing for the third graders? I don't even remember what, was I conscious in third grade? He's giving tuba clinics, aren't you? For the third graders, are you really? And are they paying attention? Yes. Awesome, well done, good job, thank you, take a bow. And do you know, I, I, I want to again mention the parents, you know, some, you know how it is you, when you have siblings, I mean, I'm an only child, so all, all I wanted was a sibling, but I know all my friends that had siblings, they always wanted to do what their siblings were doing. So we have families with many kids in the program. I want to recognize um, brother and sister uh, Keith Fleming and Deshay Banks. You guys stand up. Nice. And uh, come on, yeah, come on out if you can. And they're, they're two younger, you're, both of your siblings are now in the program, right? Just one sibling? That's pretty good. Well, you gotta get busy. All right, here, you guys take a bow. There you go. Yay, nice job. Okay, and last but not last, least, um, Aaron, Andre, and Asia Palmer, the whole Palmer family here, and uh, I wanna thank, um, I wanna especially thank Lynette, who comes with us to almost every event. Come on, stand up, Lynette. Yeah. And uh, really, you know, it's not, I, I do hope that we will have some, uh, some of our orchids in the Baltimore Symphony and in the major symphonies in the United States, but that's not really the goal. The goal is to create opportunity. Everyone should have access to great art. Every single human being, it deserves access to great art because it brings us together and it celebrates what's great about being human beings. And uh, it's all about community, it's all about reaching out. And, you know, I certainly expect in 20 years, God willing, um, when I go to the doctor, she'll say, you know, I was an orchid. 
and that's, that's the goal ultimately. And thank you everyone today for all of your support. We couldn't do it without you. Um, so now I'm going to attempt to join them, but don't look too hard at what I'm playing. I'm gonna play violin with the orchids and we're doing two selections. And the only good news is I don't have to conduct. So enjoy, thank you.